You have such a nice place here. Oh, thanks. Where do you live, actually? Yeah, I actually just moved in around the corner. It's a very nice apartment. It just doesn't have furniture. Oh, shit. Like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, so I've checked IKEA, but it's a little bit out of my budget. No. Um, and I also checked some Facebook pages, actually. Yeah, but I don't have any transportation, so I don't really know how to get it to my apartment. Ah, shit. So I'm a little bit at an impasse. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have a car to help you, unfortunately, but... I mean, how long are you gonna stay again? Yeah, around a year. Okay, yeah. Then, yeah, I get that it doesn't really pay off to buy everything, but... Have you heard of this new, like, concept here? It's called Rancher, I think. No. Uh, so, like, they basically rent out furniture, so you can, like, pick a date when you want to deliver it and when you want to get rid of it again, so, like, for you after a year, and they just gotta bring it and pick it up, and you don't really have to worry about anything. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, Will you send me the link. Yeah, for sure. So Amin, tell us a little bit about the team, who are we? Yeah, so we are four university students, um, all here in Lund. Uh We came from, yeah, basically all over the world. So Evie here came from the Netherlands, Java from Germany, and Manuel from Colombia, and uh, I also came from Germany. Uh, but we not only have different geographical backgrounds, but also professional backgrounds. Um, so Evie and Gemma have a background in hospitality, but also marketing and sales and project management. Um, Manuel, yeah, you basically did all kinds of all sorts of things, uh, so you're kind of an expert in everything, uh, but especially partnership management, um, getting along with people, so that's uh, where your expertise is. Uh, for me personally, it's real estate and yeah, basic business administration, and also I have a design background due to myself being a photographer. Um, but yeah, that set the layout for Rancher then. But Gemma, tell us a little bit more. What, how did Rancher start and why? Yeah, that's a very good question. So I think it started like the typical entrepreneurial story where we were facing a problem ourselves and we were wondering whether other people felt safe. So when we moved to Lund, it was already a struggle to buy an accommodation, so to find a place to live and to afford that. Uh, but then when we had to furnish the rooms for just the short period of a year, we realized that it's super challenging to furnish a room for an, in an affordable way and also uh, that is at the same time also sustainable. So that is how Rancher was born. We created a second-hand purchase subscription. So trying to make the linear purchasing model more circular. And at the same time, our customers get the chance to contribute and to make a social impact since a part of our proceeds are donated to charities. 